A Picture Book of Helen Keller Helen Keller was born in Alabama on June 27, 1880. She was a pretty baby. She was happy and smart. When Helen was just six months old, she began talking. But a year later, in February 1882, she became very sick. She had a high fever. Her parents and doctors were afraid she would die. Helen's mother held her and placed wet towels on Helen's forehead to cool the fever. After a few days, the illness was gone. But Helen had changed. She turned away from bright lights. She didn't hear people when they spoke to her. The illness had left Helen Keller blind and deaf. The world for her became forever dark and quiet. Because Helen could not hear other people speak, she did not learn to talk herself. She forgot the few words she knew as a baby. Helen did things with her hands to tell people what she wanted. Helen pretended to tie her hair in a bun if she wanted her mother. She pretended to cut and butter a slice of bread if she wanted bread. Helen held on to her mother's dress as her mother walked through the house. Helen touched things to know how they felt and how they were shaped. There must have been many things Helen wanted to do, many things she wanted to say, but she couldn't. Helen was often angry. She kicked, screamed, and cried. Helen was also mischievous. Once, she locked her mother in the pantry. Another time, she cut off all her friend's hair. Helen's parents took her to eye doctors, but nothing could be done to help Helen see again. Then Helen's parents took her to Washington, D.C. to meet Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. Dr. Bell had once taught in a school for the deaf. He helped the Kellers find a teacher for Helen. The teacher they found was Anne Mansfield Sullivan. Helen met her on March 3, 1887. Helen called that day her soul's birthday. Helen was not an easy student. Once, in a fit of anger, she knocked out two of Anne Sullivan's teeth. First, Anne Sullivan taught Helen proper manners. Then she taught her words. Anne used a finger alphabet. She gave Helen a doll and spelled D-O-L-L -L in the palm of Helen's hand. She gave Helen a hat and spelled H-A-T in her hand, but Helen did not understand. One day, Anne and Helen passed a water pump. Anne took Helen's hand and put it under the water. In Helen's hand, Anne spelled W-A-T-E-R. Now Helen understood. Everything has a name. Helen wanted to learn more. That day, she learned the words for mother and father. She also learned teacher which is what she called Anne Sullivan. Many years later, Helen Keller wrote that learning water, her first word, gave her soul light, hope, and joy. Helen learned hundreds, then thousands of words. Soon Anne Sullivan taught Helen to read by feeling patterns of raised dots on paper. This kind of writing for the blind is called braille. Helen learned so much and so fast that she became famous throughout the world. She was called the Wonder Girl. When Helen was 10, she decided she would learn to speak, but Helen couldn't hear the sounds she was making. She did learn to speak, but not clearly. Helen wrote more articles and books about her life, her teacher, and how she learned. She and Anne Sullivan lectured before large audiences before Anne Sullivan died on October 20th, 1936. She had been with Helen for almost 50 years. After Anne's death, Polly Thompson, Helen's secretary since 1914, became her constant companion. Helen worked all her life to help others, especially blind people. She worked for many years for the American Foundation for the Blind. During the Second World War, Helen Keller visited injured soldiers in the hospital. Her visits meant a lot to the soldiers. Many of them had been blinded or lost their hearing in fighting. Helen Keller brought them hope. They would try to lead useful lives despite their handicaps, just like Helen Keller. Important people wanted to meet Helen Keller. 
She met kings, queens, and presidents. She met actors, writers, and scientists. People, universities, and governments all over the world gave Helen Keller awards. In 1964, President Lyndon Johnson gave her the President's Medal of Freedom. Helen Keller died on June 1, 1968. Helen Keller couldn't see or hear, but for more than 80 years, she had always been busy. She read and wrote books. She learned how to swim and even how to ride a bicycle. She did many things well, but most of all, Helen Keller brought hope and love to millions of handicapped people.